Lanka Bell presents a date with Danu right here on Hi TV, your luxury channel. Today on the show, I have a beautiful couple. Their relationship is hilarious. Most of the time, they crack me up. One has a beautiful rear, and the other one has a lot to say about it. The very talented designer is with me on the set first. Sonali Dharmavardhana. So I told you the beautiful Rhea will be on the show a little later. That's her husband. Hi, Sonali. Thanks for joining us. His name is Pushpadeva. I have to say it again. <laughs> More padding for the pushing. <laughs> You're not going to do this. All right, to start things off, how are you doing? Good. All right. And I'm so happy that you're on this show because I know you're extremely camera shy. You barely walk the runway. You barely take a, another photograph. So you have yes. so too many problems. Too but, many. Yeah. But how are you now? Are you a bit more relaxed in front a of the camera? A little bit more. But yes, I still can do without it. <laughs> okay. So how is Colombo Fashion Week going? Because there was so too much of drama around it. In the last four or five months, there was a battle for the brand name and right now the battle has been conquered yes. by RJ himself. So tell me how, how, where, how, how did y'all take it, the designers? Because uh, more or less y'all all came into the spotlight with Colombo Fashion Week and y'all got a huge platform out of it. So tell me about it. First thing is I'll correct you. Um, I don't think that my brand developed with Colombo Fashion Week. I already had a retail brand before but yes for the local market it did a lot for me. Uh, about the drama, I always like to avoid any form of politics mm. and that I did. But I'm a person who's fiercely loyal to people um, and for that reason, all I saw of Colombo Fashion Week or the work that I saw plowed in, I felt I needed to um, show some form of reciprocation. So when Ajay called and said, look, I'm doing the show, I already had uh, planned to do something with my daughter mm. but uh, we worked out dates and I agreed that I'll just put up something right but you know how it is with the show you just can't put up something. exactly that's what I was coming into then you need to sit and work and as an artist it just consumes your whole time mm. you're just dreaming 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 <laughs> until you yeah you have always called yourself an artist and not exactly a designer. How did you sort of convert yourself from being an artist to a designer? Um, I think it was a process. I am still very much the artist and I think I will remain the artist. Today, if you look at design, design embraces art. Mm. It's basically using art into something that is structured and something that is purposeful. So I used that talent mm. into what I thought would market something that people like me mm. would like to wear. So if you look at my work, it's not the humdrum mainstream fashion. It's very different. It's very statement oriented. Mm. So you have to want to wear something like that. And that's how my product became a fashion statement. Brilliant. We're talking to Sonali Dharmavardhanam, but the whole point of how she got into Batik is an interesting story. We're going to speak a little bit about it, of course, when we do come back after the break, because this is where her husband and the person who asked her out 30 odd years ago comes into play. We'll see you on the other good. side. So good. I got you. Ah! Lanka Bell presents A Date with Danu. Now on the show, I have someone who has a beautiful physique, at least many, many years ago when I saw him. 
at least one part of it. Uh, but he comes from a very artistic family and he has been the inspiration in making Batik such a big part of Sonali's life. We'll speak more, of course. It's Pushpadeva in the studios. So, Mr. Push. Yes. Your padding has really reduced. Yeah. Age. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's traveling lower. <laughs> Racing to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> so, I still remember uh, Push for the has a great sense of humor. True? Uh, I'll try. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you all, have, you all yeah. have a conversation and a different opinion about every single thing. Yeah. Every uh, single thing. And it no, keeps no, no. Your... not the dogs, the rest. The rest, <laughs> except the dogs. Except That's the dogs. where you all unite. Yeah. Yes. All right, so tell me about this love story. Now, this is both of your second marriage. Yes. But you met her and had a little <laughs> in your heart many years ago. Kind of a fling, yeah. A fling. But this yeah. one rejected you. 100%. Why? Uh, I don't know, she, she didn't have a clue about love and all these things. Ayyoh. You know? <laughs> Too young. <laughs> so how old were you at that time, Sonali, when you met uh, him? 19 or 20. Uh, Mm. So then what, how, what did you do? You just got heartbroken. Yeah, and just moved on. And, and then, then who, who sort of reconnected? She came looking for me. <laughs> oh, get lost. True. No. We met 20 years later in my house. Yes, but I so didn't come looking for you. Well, then yeah. what made you go into his house then? No, I exactly. didn't know I was going to his house. My, this is just... Yeah. His very close friend is Boody. Uh. So, Boody met me when I was just after my divorce uh. and I was a little down and he said I'm going for a yoga class uh. do you want to join you do yoga yeah. well I used to oh wow yeah. now so, that I know <laughs> <laughs> so um, I went with Budi he never told me whose place I was going to mm. Budi knew I knew Pushpadeva and uh, I went to his house and then when I entered the place I saw Pushpadeva wow. and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> where have I come? Uh, and then, uh, yeah, so the rest is... The rest is... And uh, who asked? Now, you got rejected once. Did you yet again try to ask her out? No. No. It was just a neutral thing. It just naturally One it just happened. One thing led to, to another. another. Yeah. None of you all have just said, I love you so much, my darling. Would you just marry me? No. We have, we have come out of that scene. Oh, that's Yeah, now, you know, like matured, yeah. you know. Kind 12 of. years together now. Yeah. All 12 right. Years, yes. So, Pushpadeva is the one who sort of gave you this batik in your life. Yeah. Because he comes from a family that has yes. always done batik. Yeah. And so, how did that... Is it from there that you started your batik designs? Yeah. yeah. Well, I have an interesting story. Mm. My mother... Uh, my father, after di my father died, my gave it to my, I mean, my mother took over. And my mother said, you know, Puta, you should, you know, being the eldest, I should take over the father's business and not it, let it die, you know, kind of. So, I'll, unwillingly, I just took it over and, you know, running it. And then, one day, I mean, I used to design many saris and mm. shirts and everything, right? And then Sonali comes along and makes one sari. And out of the whole collection, her one sold first. Mm. So, you know, th there I realized, you know, I'm not a designer, she's the designer. Mm. So There's one sari that I'll never forget that Sonali yeah. did. It was the dragon. Mm. I have always wanted to see another one of it. I don't think it'll ever come out. It was one dragon that was six yards long and the headpiece was his mouth with fire coming out. It was yes. such a... Who owns that sari? You should I actually, remember. you should yes. just get that My frame. cousin. Ah, really? Ah. In Italy. Ah, right. Black and white, right? Yes, yeah. yes. With the red dots. Red dots, yeah, 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 correct. That's the one. I saw it when it was packed, uh, when your shop was down the Gandhara streets. That's right. That's when I first yeah. saw it. Yeah. Good memory. All right, let's get into Sticky Situ. Now, this is where we put these people to answer a few tricky questions. We'll see you on the other side. Do stick around. It's a date with Danu.
Back with us on the show. So Sonali, there was a time when I posted a picture and I tagged you on my WTF page and you called me and said, I don't know whether that's my sari. And I said, no, it is. I quite genuinely remember. And you said, no, now there are people printing batik. Yes. Who is printing batik and why? Uh, what is the batik situation? Because batik was just such a dying industry at one time in our country and it just blossomed and everyone yes. is so proud to wear a batik piece. Yes. Where do you stand about this statement that you said? About? These people printing batik. Yes, because if you look at it, though I'm an artist, batik is a craft. And if you look at over the years, crafts have slowly diminished, died, and there is a revival in certain parts of the world, but people live off a craft. And it formed villages, it formed a whole socio-economic system, it formed a culture. And if we take something that is a craft and then try to replicate it by using machinery, where does the craftsman stand? Then we're going to go back to a period where things are just replicated. It doesn't have the nuances of romance, the value, the, the artisan spirit, all of that. And I think we have to do something about it. Have you called all these design, uh, designers out who print Called batik? out as in to speak to them? Yeah. Do you think that's possible I in a society know. like ours? I'm just asking. I don't think that's possible. And I don't want to open a can of worms that is not mine. But I would like to talk to people who are um, the consumers, for them to learn to value. Because when they are buying something that is batik, they're not just buying a piece of clothing. They're buying an entire story. When you buy crochet lace, you're not buying just a piece of lace. You're feeding there's an entire... It, yes, yes, there's a story to it. Pushpadeva, what is your take on all of this? Well, I'm a printer. <laughs> You're like, print more batik, people just print it. That says it all, isn't it? <laughs> so you can imagine the conflict. I went all quiet because of this. <laughs> He's like, let me just maintain my silence. Uh, but when it comes to mm. arguing with Sonali, is yeah. that a way that you can win this argument? No. Never, right? No. I'm uh, pr I mean, printers, you know, do print money, print, you know, uh, that's a boring job. Yeah. This is, this print is art. money. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Printers oh print money, God. newspapers, clothing. He prints everything. everything. Yeah. But in terms of an mm. argument at home, because everything, like mm. from the shirt that you're wearing today yeah. uh, to the hanky that you have poked in your yeah. pocket. Pocket, pocket, had had conversations throughout this shoot. Yeah. So tell me about how is it when you all have to co live in under one roof? Oh my God. That's <laughs> my another God. can of worms. <laughs> Who calms things down? I do, obviously. Okay. Yeah, you give I, that award yeah. to him? Yeah. 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 Okay. Absolute award. Okay. Yeah. We'll see you after the break. Do stick around. It's a date with Danu on High TV. <laughs> Lanka Bell presents a date with Danu. A big thank you to our sponsors who have made this show possible. We'll start things off with the mansion, of course, located at the Moo Pick Hotel. Thank you so very much for hosting us. Jonathan Studios for those perfect photographs that we'll see throughout the show. And at the same time, who dresses me is MTS Designers and not forgetting Ark for giving us the look and feel for the show. And at the same time, it's time that we update their social media. All right, uh, so Pushpa Deva does not have Facebook. Uh, we'll come to the nitty-gritty of it, but Sonali, you are going to update it. Yes. <laughs> They're so, so out of it. Sonali's Facebook has been updating for quite some time. I just yes. stopped it and I gave it to you. You can't see, you have always used everyone else's spectacles. Yes. And at the same time, what you use right now, these is, but something that you robbed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even yours, right? It's not mine. Where did you find it? I don't remember. I know I walked out. Using, I was using somebody's glasses And you somewhere. walked out with it? I walked out and then like after using it for a while, I, I thought, oh my God, whose glasses have I come with? And I've not been able to find out, but it's so good, I don't want to part <laughs> with it. It's such an ugly pair that you continuously yeah, use as it. It's horrendous, <laughs> but it works so well for me. Brilliant. Now you can uh, borrow Pushpa Devas. Yes, please. While she types her status. Push, so why aren't you on Facebook? Where are you? <laughs> No, no. Why and okay. Uh, Tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing. Yeah, but yeah. About ten years ago, uh. or maybe f twelve years ago, 
when Facebook I was started founded? A, yeah. Well, no, 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 no. Facebook was before that, wasn't it? How uh, many somewhere, years? okay. Yeah. Anyway, I, my son did a profile, I mean, like, the Facebook, the whole account for me. Okay. And uh, on the third day, maybe fourth day, Sonali logged into my Facebook account and said, you know, there was one girl from New Zealand, one girl from US. No, all his ex-girls. Right, right. Logged in, you know. So she cancelled my account. That's <gasps> it. That's it? How and said, possessive. you can never go into Facebook <laughs> again. Such a possessive wife. Yes, hey. I know. I know. Was it all whips and chains that night? Oh, my uh, God. <laughs> Don't go there, Dana. <laughs> all right. I, need, I really need to speak, speak to you about the men who have been behind you. No, that's men. a... Yeah, that's a huge chain that I need to speak about. But right after this, it's time to see what's on their Facebook. All right, it's time to see what's on their Facebook. All right, I found some pictures that we wanted to share. Actually, you are not on Facebook, no, so it was really hard for me to get through and like figure out uh, this picture. Can you yes, see? Yes. When was this? Oh my God. Uh, maybe about 10, 12 years ago, 10 years ago. How old was your little one? Must have been about eight or nine, no? Nine? Mm, Possible? She looks younger. But you still look the same way you are looking right now. Oh my goodness. That doesn't say much. Yes. Tell me about the relationship that you have with them. It's very special. At least with the... Uh, yeah, Ali. No, with them both, it's very special. And they, are, and they gave you a workspace many, many years ago. Many years ago. Yeah. And that's where the friendship has been so strong up to now. Actually, a little before that. Okay. Yes. Because um, Kumar came to um, with Yehali to get a sari. And um, it started with the sari, actually. Mm. Because I think they, they're very um, supportive of artists. Mm. So that's And she has yeah. always worn you after that? Yes. More or less. You don't even get a small piece of it. What <laughs> to do? This is... Uh... <laughs> that's okay. Yeah. So. There were no bad hair days in that time. Yeah, but just terrible big hair, hair days. Day. <laughs> and that's my ex-husband. Yes. Yeah, and this is as you have given birth, is it? No, oh, that's this not It's not even, even your child. No. <laughs> is that Sharanya? No. Whose ah. child is it? That's my nephew. Ah, okay, okay. Yes. Uh, and what is this? I spotted you though. Yes. That's uh, my ex-husband's. That was my, they are my in-laws. Oh, my right, husband. okay. Yes. And are you a mama here yet? No. My, yeah, my mom, in mom in law corner. she's there and she's still alive. Um, no, he wants to know whether you are a mother there already. Am I a mama? Yeah. Mm. Here. No. 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 Yet a little young girl. Yeah. All right. So tell me about the men who have followed you. You have had a huge line. Men? Yeah. <laughs> Apart from you. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh. Our love story is not yesterday. It yes. has been around. It's like, it's like the Romeo Juliet, Colombo version. It's time we play one word. One word answers. All right, I'm going to start with uh, Pushpadeva. Okay? Okay. One thing you dislike about Sonali? God, are you gonna, we are going to have family issues. <laughs> huh? We are going to have family issues. <laughs> <laughs> so one thing that you dislike about her? Dislike? I oh, think I she criticized me a lot. <laughs> okay. Would you rather replace the president or the prime minister? Both. Love or money? Mm, both. Choose one man. Yes, you love. Can have okay, one. love. Liar. <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite out of Yolanda Alvihara, Darshi Kirti Sena, Nilanka Silva. Darshi. Spell the word zucchini. I cannot. All right, Sonali. Name one thing that Colombo Fashion Week lacks. They need to develop a stronger retail uh, sense for the designers that mm. they showcase. That's it. On a scale of 1 to 10, how talented is Darshikirti Sena? Very. I think I would say 9. 
rates them accordingly. Aslam Hussain, Gihan Edrivira, Dimitu Sahabandu. Aslam Hussain, Dimitu. You want me to put them in order? First, second. Dimitu, Aslam, Gihan. Kiss, kill, or marry. Who will you kiss out of? Who will you kiss, kill, or marry? Kumar Sangakara, Arvindari Silva, Mahela. Because I know too much about Kumar, I think I'll marry Kumar. You'll marry Kumar? <laughs> Um, kill Arvinda. Arvinda. Yeah, because you don't know him. Uh, <laughs> and ah, yeah, marry yeah. Mahela. Uh, kiss Mahela because uh, I said. Ah, you'll yeah. marry Kumar. Yeah. Uh, gosh, this was really hard. Yes. Name a Sri Lankan designer who has international standards, according to you. Sri Lankan designer who has international standards. Anika Fernando. Brilliant. Thank you so very much. Those one word questions took forever. It's fine. I've already <laughs> built Sigiriya in my mind. <laughs> uh, thank you so very much. It was lovely having you. I got to know Sonali when I used to be on stage with Hindu's plays. Uh, Sonali used to walk around backstage helping out. And her little one was really little. When I say little, was just little. Uh, Sonali always had something um, to say and it's always direct, never iced with anything, just to the point. Then we used to see uh, Pushpa Deva just roaming around on and off uh, later on in time. But it's amazing. Ever since then, I've known Sonali. And subsequently, I got to know that my grand aunt used to send her food long years ago down Park Road. Yeah, I never knew that. So, such a small world. Yeah. Anyway, Sonali, thank you so very much. Thanks for being you. Thanks for being so honest. Uh, we will see you soon with another brilliant episode. And thanks for joining us on the show. Thank, thank you. you. It's a wrap on the show. We'll see you soon.